Let's we see. got Solar Razor and Eggs in the Fridge. All right, Eggs in the Fridge is such a good tag. Yeah, I, it's I've actually seen, amazing. I've seen Eggs in the Fridge before, so I'm, I must. I think I know a lot about this player already. I, it, it, I think you're gonna have some valuable insight on this match. Yeah. Well, well, think about it. Think about it. Think about your garage. One okay. thing before we start, I'm gonna hold these commentators ransom, so if you'd like them to eat dinner tonight, uh, sub to me. Alright, bye, have fun. Yeah, alright, so think about your garage, now let's put a Pizza Hut in your garage. A uh, Pizza Hut in my garage sounds amazing. Yeah, now we put a we put a fridge in that Pizza Hut, and okay. we, put, we put eggs in that fridge. Okay. Eggs now, in I the want, fridge I, and the Pizza Hut in the garage. I want you to think about something. Okay. I want you to think about Ethereal Gates, because that's where we're starting. All right, it's, no, it's good blast zones for Raster to not die as early as usual against Orkane's ridiculous up moves. It's true, um, and you know, the plat layout's kind of neutral for these characters, I feel. It's not something you care too much about if you're either one. Uh, yeah. Although, the uh, when, when the plats are together, it's a nice little blazing hideout uh, format for Orkane, so you can get those easy tech chases. This stage usually has a higher emphasis on edge garden due to the platforms not helping out with recovery half the time, and also the blast zones being ridiculous on all sides. It's true. It's true. So far, uh, solar solar razor in the lead. Yeah, I would give this edge to the raster because I feel like it's very hard to edge guard. Raster. Well, even you do have the bubble advantage though, so we'll see. But there's Ooh. there's a nice little clap. That was a good little conversion there. And I, I kind of agree, because, like, you you have a character that, you know, not... He's got uh -oh, fast yep, there it is. Oh, never mind. Well, you got the blast zones, but you got it to die. That's yes. That's how they get you. Okay, throwing out the back down tilt to the back airs. No jumps on the raster. Oh. Uh, not dead. Yeah, they're making it back. No jump yet. Keeping Still, it going, though. Oh, got it. Wait! Oh, yeah, that was so good! Escort of Champions. Alright, that was nice. Eggs in the fridge is, uh, looking kind of I was right saying now. it'd be hard to edge guard Raster, but Solar Razor blew all of his jumps super duper early, so that yeah, point it was tough. Definitely, um, unfortunate loss of resources pretty early there, and, uh, and Fridge just making it work out. Keeping that edge guard going. Eggs in the fridge. Should I call them eggs or fridge? I think, I think there's another player. There, yeah, there's a fragment in the fridge. Okay, I'll call them eggs. Eggs. I'm going to use the full name. <laughs> oh, bad DI on the... Am uh, I supposed to call this other player Solar? I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. Alright, we just take that to a last stock game with the funnel. Yeah, we're um, we're back to a relatively even game. It's been it's been pretty one sided both stocks, uh, in in both favors honestly. First stock was uh, the solar favor. Second stock was definitely eggs favor. Mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting to see a raster in general. Yeah, Same you character. don't see like you don't see too many uh, rasters online nowadays. I feel. Yeah. I think Raster's the rarest overall character in the game, but Shovel Knight's Shub the rarest at, like, high top level. For sure, I agree. Oh, oh held in! Yeah, had no jumps and felt pressure to hold in, which means 14 up smash. Yeah, that was a, that was a great catch on the, uh, the, the nair into the up strong there. So, X taking game one. All right. So game two, we're going to Tempest Peak. I support this counter pick with all my heart. <laughs> this is a pretty classically, well, it's a classic Raster stage. There my, is my last RCS tournament, I made the mistake of not banning this against the Raster, and I got taken out. That's typically how it goes, right? I mean, platforms are Raster's friend, and mm -hmm. he can just abuse these side platforms so hard. Yeah, because he has, he has the, the speed to make up for it. Usually characters can have a... All right, all right. Cause the characters have a tough time kind of like transitioning their combo from the main stage to the side flap. A raster is so dang fast and aerial that he can just manage. Yeah, and like the the dash attacks off the um, the upper platforms too, they make it so easy to just keep converting onto the side platforms. And the big blast zone, same thing as last uh, as the last game. You di well, you're gonna live well. Yeah, the stage is everything raster would want. Basically, I can't think of a better stage character combination in this game. Yeah, it's it's quite good. It's definitely up there, at least. 
I mean, and it's really showing right now. Like, look at this huge percent lead. Yeah, there. this is a deep down. Yeah, a after Eggs won that game uh, in a pretty close fashion, I mean, this is this is definitely a bit of a... Oh, he's got enough to stock up the upbeat. Yeah. Well, this tournament is a good place for people to learn the game, and things like... Uh, it's definitely a first for a lot of people in, like, top 8 tournament environment with picks and bands mattering kind of thing. For sure. Well, learning to ban Tempest against Raster as early as possible is uh, <laughs> a nice a nice step in your career. Yeah, this is uh, and this apparently is a... one that I one that I had not taken yet. <laughs> my, my RCS. Don't be like MSB. Learn from this match. Yeah. Please ban Tempest against Raster. Or if you're a Raster mate, uh, don't ban Tempest. You're you're a fool and a coward if you do that. <laughs> oh it, no. That, that was really tough anyway. Hit between Uppy and Bracho was right there. B yeah. B Veal. Solar was definitely ready for the recovery um, if it did happen, but still, unfortunate way to end game two. Um, and now we're headed to Rockwall counter pick from X. Good pick, a kill raster. I think it's fine. It's just the the one thing you're really risking is um, you, now Orcane, even though he's typically quite heavy off the sides, you're risking dying way earlier off the sides now. Yeah, Where or, if you're if you're the raster, you're like. I'm gonna die anyways, I don't care. Yeah, Orkane's problem on this stage is that he can't DI into the blast zone for combos. Exactly. Which means that he kinda eats like more forward airs than he'd want to. Every time he goes off stage. Oh, okay. He's doing this, this uh doing this this nice. jump. Oh off that was the top. sweet, yeah. He's a uh, uh X is doing this thing in neutral a lot where he's like air dodging right in place and then like down specialing or something and he's he's getting caught for it quite a bit raster is the one character you really don't want to do that against as arcane yeah you waste your air dodge against raster and it is not going to be a good time for you that being said we're back to even stocks yep. okay and make sense of that platform is just too smart. a lot of mileage off of these side specials in neutral Yes, um, Solar's been having a really hard time actually dealing with them. Man, just using all the jumps before doing an up special or anything to the wall. Yeah, I it's, I find it interesting that Solar's not just saving their jumps more than anything, because like, that's yeah. that's your most important tool. Okay. Much more even than percent oh, now. We're in the, what the heck? See ya. That, that was eggs. movable, too. Uh, not even with, with an Orca hop, that was just kind of bad layering of the jump and air dodge. I, I, that, to me, was like a, oh, I misinputted, it's time to panic. You know I mean? Yeah, press them both at the same time, basically. Because you can wait until you're at the apex of your jump before you would put your air dodger up, and you will get more height out of it, that's just how it works. Exactly. So uh, what we saw there was just using the air dodger. Anyway. And that's, that's, the, that's the second SD we've seen from X. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, good DI out. Uh, generally, Raster DI is uh, when you're getting combo in Slipstream, you DI like up and in to get out of the Slipstream as soon as possible. And when you're out of the Slipstream, you DI out. Yeah, you really do not want to be in that Slipstream. That's where Raster is going to get all their crazy follow-ups. Yeah, you DI in too long, you're going to get comboed off the top, but you DI out for, at all, you're going to combo off the side. So you just got to get out of the Slipstream before it's going to escape him. I like uh, I like the way that Solar's been playing this Good neutral. Example. He sees he sees Eggs is trying to be super grounded, throwing out all these down tilts and down strongs, and so he's like, you know, I have four jumps, I'm just gonna stay above you. Nice little dash dance too. Went for the parry that time, but um, uh, both both of them missed the mark a little bit. Yeah, I should just should probably just stay on the platform. Oh yeah, that one didn't there work. Side special to neutral not work in. Yeah, finally a punish on that side special and neutral. That was, that was the first one we saw, I think. But um, now we've got Spirit Tree as our next stage. Game four. Solar looking pretty nice. I mean, up to 2-1 uh, two after two pretty convincing games back to back. Looking good for him here. And this is a great Raster stage as well. Um, yeah. I, I personally would never pick this against Raster, even if it's like someone like Claren. I, yeah, I really would. Okay. This also kind of alleviates uh, the problem Solar Razor's been having with recovery with that side fight right there. Exactly. This this stage, if you're having trouble recovering, this stage is going to help you so much because the, the amount of characters that can cover 
both under the platform, on the side of the platform, and over the platform at the same time are very beautiful. Ooh, swinging with us up here to get the spike. Gets the good old belly flop spike. You love to see it. I love that move so much. I had a patient with these just playing with ability. Just continuing the neutral. I don't blame him. Trying to take it slow, you know? I mean, uh, after two pretty convincing games on Solar's part, you, you need to find out what's going to work now. You know? and that takes time. Yeah, another... That's like the third one of those I've seen that you have special on the Orkan side special with. Yeah, he's been doing a really good job of, of punishing with it now. Okay. Oop, gets caught by the side special that time. A lot of Orkane Forge Trunks too, which don't really do a lot. Oh Not boy, that could be oh. connected out with the Orkane Up Strong. But I'm just gonna do a little combo, combo thing instead. Yeah, get some percent. There we go. Oh wow. no, great DI. Yeah. I definitely thought the Raster was very yeah. dead. Yeah, so combo all the way through the bloodstream. Good DI there, yeah. It's not a good parry punish if they're ready to DI it. That'd be dead. Yep, put the mustard there on it. For the first time in a while, Egg's back in the lead. If he uh, if he can get a lot of percent here and just get Raster in that scary like 60-ish range, then he's looking real Ooh, good almost to take this game. Okay. Still yeah, this is where it gets so scary. Kill. Probably gonna... Alright, yeah, Spirit Tree saves. Just jumping up on in, playing the new. Doesn't chase with the with downstrong. Yeah, I, I was definitely expecting a tech chase with the downstrong there. But you know, he's um he's at least got a, still a full stock ahead now. Yeah. So he's he's got some room. To this is on downstrong point. Downstrong point. I unironically want to see way more downstrong because for some this arcade. I mean, there's been several forward times tail. where if he just if he just mashed it and threw it like out, like he absolutely would have gone. Yeah, that yeah, would have killed. Yeah, that's a forward rest. instead of a down. So these forwards instead of downs are very confusing to me. Please. Uh, oh, that, that no. also should have been a down because uh, it reaches higher. Than people. Yeah, or or the wave land onto the platform and down throw. Still, I mean, they're both living at really high percents. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die to Antilla. Um, so he's still he's still in the lead, but the longer you let this raster live, especially when you had several chances to kill him already, the the more you are risking, like getting nervous and letting the other player get momentum. Especially as raster, uh, here yeah, we go. He's at, he's at zero percent. This could just happen. This could just be the end of the set, and I wouldn't even be surprised. Yeah, I agree. Whoop! Wrong way dash deck though. Kind of ruins the punch opportunity on the side special. For sure. There are no downstrongs here. That oh there, no! Okay, there's one. Yeah, you figured it out. Oh, let's see if he figured it out too late though. This is ridiculous. Just crazy stock here. Moving slow, so long. I did not know that Raster was made into a heavy. Holy, yeah, these bubbles aren't. Oh, there we Bubble go. Button neutral, yep. Finally finding that long overdue kill. Wow, that that almost happened. Actually, good momentum for the Raster going into game five on a counter pick here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just you feel really good about living that long, especially against someone like Orkane. I mean, just the the consistent outplays in neutral by Solar were really nice. So now we're headed to Treetop Lodge, which, uh, you know, another pretty solid raster counter pick. Lots of room to edge guard here, so maybe a little scary against Orkane, but we'll see. Okay, get something started in neutral here. Get some good damage off these little one, one hit, two hit strings. I'd be a little afraid of uh, the stage as raster, honestly, with the, it's so small. A lot of room for Orkane to have his way. For sure. Um, it, it leaves a lot less room for... Um... No, so uh, no! That, not only would that parry punish have not worked, even if it sweet spotted, it, it, yeah, you died. Yeah, that's... um. You hate to see that. That is really, really unfortunate. Almost getting it back, though. This is a... Uh, never goes for the parries on these side beats. Yeah, right, always. Go I mean, honestly, parrying Orkane side B is a, is a mix-up that Orkane can manipulate. Oh, well, that was one way to do it. 
the Speaking of mix ups you can manipulate. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, like that's I like that way better than, than just like the parry. Well the the parry is nice because it allows you to do whatever you want. You yeah, but I mean. for Raster oh, whatever no. he wants it, yeah, whatever he wants to generally insult anyway. That's fair. Okay. Here we go. Take the DI out though. X is uh X is looking real nice again. Alright. One sweet spot clap will play from the last stock game five here. This is this is like the exact situation as the last game. Um, yeah. X, X the SD, just though, super the SD really right. sucks, but um eggs Oh he doesn't have any resources. DI's it it's all the way out. Just the like opposite that. Of the last stock of the last game. Yeah, I think that was a bad stage pick. Or I agree. Just able to throw out the big hit boxes. I'm not sure what the bands were, but I would have picked a larger stage and just gone for the long game. Like, d despite it being um, a pretty good raster stage, I feel like the way that that matchup was going, you just really don't want that little stage space against the Hurricane, especially when he's playing grounded so much. It's like the the platforms aren't helping you that much because you're just kind of going down there anyways if you want to hit them especially what after that sd he lost the lead it was just you can't really play the stage anymore yep so hard to be aggro when 